So to start up, you know, I just want you to talk a little bit about the role Facebook is playing in the world now and how that's evolved since it was just your Harvard project. Sure. Actually, that's a great first place to start. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I, mean, I, I tend to agree that, that a, a lot of the focus has been on, on things that we as a company aren't necessarily as focused on. And the thing that we are trying to do at Facebook is just help people connect and communicate more efficiently. And we think that this both has very subtle effects on, on individuals in terms of helping them build more, more trusting and empathy relationships and enrich their lives. And it also has really broad macro effects when, when you take the sum of these connections and, and you boil them up to something that's much more broad. And you know, one example of this more recently is you know, we just launched internationally. And um, it was always kind of available for, for people to use, but it was only in English until about a month ago. And we launched in Spanish for the first time on February 11th. So one of the countries that, that has really taken off and has a significant Facebook population since we launched in Spanish is Colombia. And, and this, is, this is actually really notable because there, there are a few people who are using it in, in English before, and then a ton of people started signing up for it in Spanish once it was available. And the first thing that people started doing was they started using the site to organize, communicate, and revolt against the guerrilla armies that were in Colombia. Is there something about this bigger vision of where Facebook's going that naturally conflicts with privacy? Is this gonna, something that's going to keep cropping up for you guys? Well, the thing that's really important is that we need to give people complete control over their information. Right? People need to be able to say exactly who they want to share each piece of information that they're sharing, who they want to share that with. So, and, and I think that, that actually enables a lot more sharing. So for example, cell phone numbers. Right? Uh -huh. uh, um, I think the most recent stat is something like 20 or 25 percent of people on Facebook have their cell phone number shared. And the reason why they're able to do that is because they can say, I only want to share this with my friends. But if I had to share it with 60 million people, then you wouldn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So actually giving people very granular control over who they share information with mm -hmm. actually allows those connection and that communication to take place. Mm -hmm. And that's a theme that's very broadly applicable across the whole product. And the more control and the more granular control that we can give people, the more information that people are going to be able to share, and the more we're going to be able to achieve our goals. So according to Forbes, you are the youngest billionaire ever on their list. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, yeah, we're just not that focused on stuff like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, obviously this is because the $15 billion valuation, the famous $15 billion valuation. OK, I, I love Facebook. I use it all the time. But come on, you don't actually think the company's worth $15 billion at this point, do you? I mean, I just don't think we're thinking about that. Right? I mean, so it, take us through what you were thinking about in doing that deal. Well, what we're thinking about is you know, we want to get as little dilution as possible and raise money on the most favorable terms. But, and we wanted to, uh, we're building this relationship with Microsoft, and we have this ad relationship. We're doing several other things, and they wanted to buy a piece of the company. So we just discussed this, and, and this is what made sense. Mm -hmm. But I mean, as, as a company, what we're focused on is, is just not necessarily like all the financial information. Right? So, so I mean, it's all the, the themes that we're talking about today, right? in terms of right. helping people communicate more efficiently, building this developer platform, helping mm -hmm. people map, map out who their friends are in, in order to help them communicate very effectively. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, one of the way that we've decided is going to be the most effective is for us to just go and, and build a, a business. Mm -hmm.